The White House, occupied by the most powerful political man in the world, except for the Pope himself. He has the ability to promote justice or injustice, life, or to literally be an agent of death. Right now, President Obama has proven himself to be an agent of death. By revoking and overturning the Mexico City policy, he is spending American dollars, our money, to promote child killing around the world and even to sustain forced abortion in China. He has authorized our money to spend on embryonic stem cell research. In other words, deliberately creating a human life so that that life can be snuffed out, destroyed in the name of science. It's more ghoulish Frankenstein technology than it is true science. And of course, even as we speak, the Obama administration is planning to overturn the conscience regulations of Health and Human Services so that medical professionals are turned into agents of death. Hit men. It's like Herod himself asking soldiers who should be warriors for justice to go and kill the innocent as they did in Bethlehem. As you know, President Obama has been invited to speak at the commencement of Notre Dame. Those of us who are faithful Catholics believe and know this to be an outright treachery against the orthodoxy of the Catholic faith and the lives of the innocent who are, even as I speak, being snuffed out because of Obama's decisions. What can we do? We need to raise hell, R-A-Z-E, raise hell against this treachery. And so I'm inviting you to be a part of our efforts to stop Obama from speaking at Notre Dame's commencement. Now, just so you grasp the significance of this, picture if Notre Dame invited Herod after he authorized the death of the innocent in Bethlehem. Picture them inviting him to speak. Or picture a Jewish university in 1942 inviting Heinrich Himmler, the architect of genocide for the Nazis. Picture a Jewish university inviting Heinrich Himmler to speak. It's absurd. It's an offense. And what Notre Dame has done as an institution that is charged with promoting and defending the Catholic faith and defending the lives of the innocent, what they have done is treachery of the highest order. It is a sin against God and man. Our mission is to have protests, is to, is to raise a howl so loud that either they withdraw the invitation or Obama withdraws from speaking. We will do things that are completely peaceful, but believe me, we will be heard. And I'm inviting you to be a part of this war. Now let me say something to those who are concerned that we might say something that's a little controversial, a little bit shocking. Listen to me. The history of social revolution in this country, the abolitionists, women's voting rights, the end of child labor, the end of segregation, these people had images and used rhetoric and did actions that, that were highly charged, that were controversial, that were in your face, and they won. Martin Luther King was a general, and he said and did things that were highly controversial and deliberately controversial, and he won. If we are going to win in our overall battle to end child killing, and if we're going to make the kind of impact that we need to stop Obama from speaking, to stop this act of treachery, then we have got to learn from the playbooks of the past that have won. Some people who are watching are nervous. Think of this as an army. In an army, you have ancillary personnel around. You have chaplains, you have medics, you have nurses, doctors, you have cooks, you have people that fix the equipment. But if you don't have shock troops, the Marines, the 82nd Airborne, Navy SEALs, etc. If you don't have shock troops who are on the front line, a vanguard, you can't win the war. And if you want to win a war, don't put a medic in charge of the army. Don't put a chaplain in charge of the army. Put warriors in charge of the army. We have got to have praying people. We've got to have all kinds of things going on. But those who are not able or equal to the kind of shock troop action that is required in peaceful social revolution, please don't speak ill of us and please don't try and turn the entire army into a medic corps or into a chaplain corps. Finally, if you really look at what is going on with President Obama and with so many elements of the Catholic Church, 
President Obama speaking at Notre Dame is like the political and sociological and almost the theological rape of orthodoxy, of Catholicity. It is so vile in the sight of God. I'm asking you to look around this website and do everything that you can. And remember, wars are not won in cyberspace. I'm glad you're watching this online. The web is a great place to get information. But friends, we have got to take to the streets. We have got to raise up a fierce prophetic voice for truth and for justice so that ultimately we can end this Holocaust. God bless you.